What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on the uh, New York Rangers sign Elise Stempniak to a one-year deal worth 900 grand. I like this deal. I mean, it, it literally, you're going to get, and I'm, every every contract in hockey is going to be compared to the David Bowen contract. No, that's just the reality of the situation with me because I still laugh when I see that, and that's not disrespectful to Dave Bowen. That's just how stupid the Florida Panthers can be as they continue to be the epitome of ineptitude in the National Hockey League. Um, you know, it's just... I'll get to that in a second, but, um, you know, for 34 points, 900 grand, that's awesome. You know, he's going to give you one-half to two-thirds of the production of Bowen for one-fifth of the price. Actually, less than, closer to one-sixth of the price. I mean, again, is he going to be, you know, Joe Neuendijk out there? No. They, they both play, you know, really, really good colleges. That's Neuendijk at Cornell and Stepniak at, uh, at Dartmouth. But, you know, it's a guy that... I think we'll knock in 15 goals next year for the Rangers. I mean, you know, last year split his time between Calgary and Pittsburgh. And, you know, has shown a flair to be a consistent point producer. Had 28 goals four years ago. That, that was kind of a fluky run he had with the Coyotes uh, when he came over the deadline in 2010. So, you know, that's kind of spews the statistics a little bit. But, you know, I'll give you between 10 and 18 goals for sure. Um, he, he scored 20 that one year. He had 19 another year. You know, he's just a good all-around hockey player, and, you know, he's not a liability in any particular facet, but, um, you know, I really think that he's going to help the Rangers and, you know, be good in that. I think I saw someone to be the middle six. You know, second, third line guy, not hurt you, not, you know, not, not be detrimental to the salary cap situation. And where the Rangers are in with the salary cap is, you know, you've got to be efficient in how you spend money. This is an efficient contract. This is – you're getting – Good value for below market. You're getting good production for below market value. And you know what? In the business of hockey, that's what you need. You know, you, if you had a whole team of Lee Stepniaks, you wouldn't do a damn thing. But, you know, having a guy like this in a role um, that, that's news to him being successful is definitely a, um, you know, a, a good uh, thing. So, again, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does in the Rangers. And he's always a guy I've always liked to play. You know, going back to his days in St. Louis and before that. Uh, and actually after that with Toronto and uh, and then with Phoenix and you know kind of bounced around a little bit with Calgary and Pittsburgh but you know good all around hockey player you know plays the game hard plays the game right and um, you know minus 36 is great that's kind of scary but again you know don't dislike the contract he's only 31 yeah so you know it's not an old guy and uh, he'll be beneficial to the New York Rangers' success next year. And if you saw my piece on Red Sports, I, I talked with Michael Delzotto, kind of a similar concept. With it. I, I think he should go to the Chicago Blackhawks because he'll be short money, and I think if there's a place for him to revive his career, um, it's in Chicago. But it's it's all about when you're that close to the cap, getting efficient contracts and getting guys that you're you know not overpaying for for non-star players. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's why I got episode of the Power Play with CJ on the. Uh, New York Rangers sign Lee Stepniak. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.